If you are studying in 12th Standard Commerce Group in Tamil Nadu State Board, this video is exactly for you. Three subjects are tough, that is Commerce, Economics and Accounts. One subject is easy to learn. Obviously, you have a choice to choose between computer application or business maths. And you can learn computer application. Or you must be interested in computers also. So, in this subject, you have to do well. First stage level, we have to get decent marks. If you are curious to know how to do that very easily, let's go into the video without wasting any time. So let us begin our analysis uh, about the reduced portions first. Nariya perke yada reduced portions in teri la. Abdi paath engena yalla lessons liye me kuncha kuncha portions karchir kanga. Yenda vore lessonu omit panala. Next vande lesson eight, nine, eleven and fourteen paath engena rombave karchir kanga. There is only the introduction in those lessons. So this is the status of your syllabus. All eighteen lessons with some portions reduced. So from here, we will shift our focus to the analysis of question paper. So now let us go and see what is the pattern of the question paper. So you have to answer uh, 15 objectives, 6 2 marks, 6 3 marks and 5 5 marks. So total marks it comes to 70 and remaining marks is allotted for practicals. So computer application, you are not overloaded during the exam time. You will be having a lot of time to think and answer properly. So now that we have done the analysis, let us take each component separately and see how we can get very good marks, how you can score full marks. So let us begin with objectives. So first day, so later in the mother 15 objectives. So either pata majorly like at least 10 will come from book bag. At the end of every lesson, you will be having this choose. So and every lesson has around 10 choose only. So what you can do is as the teacher is teaching the lessons, uh, general students they'll be reading the two marks, three marks, five marks, and then the objectives are omit. 15 out of 15 bangi nada nariya per vande exam evaluate pandrache and the 5 marks ku full marks kudupanga students who don't get full marks in objectives they will reduce some marks even in 5 marks abindra or common belief irukku so studying objectives is very important make it a habit to read the objectives as you read the other questions also book back objectives definitely are important but if you are aiming for full marks, that is not enough. Let me be very clear with you. So, now you are doing After reading the entire book, so you are reading the lesson, there are other concepts. Sometimes, you five marks, you will know that this is the objective. So, the best method would be to highlight all that or to underline the important words which could come as uh, other important question in uh, bits. Another thing is the best source for objectives, other important objectives is the government question papers. Various question papers are there. Government type continuous exams are there. And there are objectives. And there are many websites through which you can do. Or you have the guides also. You can take any of this and go through the additional questions. So, in the matter, you have hard work. And the 15 on 15 is easy. And lesson uh, 6 and 7 definitely important because output questions are the objectives. So, in the lesson, you can bits of bits. And in the process, when I blow wish you some I will give you one fantastic tip following which your objective study will be very easy. objective study will be very easy. Totally, how many lessons you have? You have 18 lessons. Okay, every day you think that you will do the objectives of three lessons. So, this is what we have to do. 6 into 3 is 18. So, within 6 days, you can complete the objectives of computer application, the entire book. This is easy. Till board exam, you can allocate this time and you can keep repeating it in a cyclic way so that you are 100%. 200% uh, thorough with the objectives. So now, let us move on to the short answers. Short answers, you have 2 marks as well as 3 mark answers. So in the portions, reduced portions, I have told you in lesson 8, 9, 
11 and 14. In the 4 lessons, the considerable reduction of portions have happened. Yeah. So, there is a little bit of introduction. There is not much chance that they can ask a detailed answer. So, my tip to you would be to read those lessons for 2 marks and 3 marks thoroughly. You are art students, computer application, you have to write point wise. You can't be writing stories. So, always give bullet points and write, give a heading and write. And when you are studying, 2 marks na or 3 points or 4 points. That is 3 marks, 3 to 5 points. And when you are studying, you will be able to do the presentation very neat. And one more tip that I would like to add for 3 marks is, there are some differentiate questions. And the differentiate questions are the same. So, if you have the questions, you will be able to use the same questions. 3 marks are very useful. Now, finally, let us move on to the detailed answers. So, detailed answers are the same. You have theory based questions and you also have programs. So, the programs in the lessons, in the lesson, in the lesson, you have to focus only on three lessons. That is lesson number 5, lesson number 6 and lesson number 7. So, on the lessons, there is not many questions. I think each lesson has around two questions only. So, in the programs, you can learn well because what is computer application without the programs? So, you have to learn how to write these programs. That will be really very helpful for you. Some students are there who find this uh, very tough. So, you can omit the answers in the three lessons. You can omit the answers in the three lessons. You can learn the answers in the third lesson. You can also learn the answers in the third lesson. You can also learn the answers in the third lesson. You can also learn the answers in the third lesson. If you are aiming for some 80 or 90 marks, you have to learn the programs of lesson 5, 6 and 7. Next extra tip what I would like to give is, some questions are not going to be 2 marks, 3 marks are combined and 5 marks are going to be. So when you are reading the 2 marks and 3 marks from behind the book, make sure that you read it very very thoroughly. Similarly, when you read the 5 marks, some components of the 5 marks will be asked as a 2 mark or 3 mark. Generally, first step is students correct us. 2 marks, 3 marks, 100% focus. So, if you combine it, you may be able to write. But 5 marks, if you have an answer, you can read it fully. Whatever you are reading from book back, read it thoroughly. answers less the diagrams mari potrukanga so ninga adha direct ah poi exam la andha box poda try panni andha marala pannina kona la poidla it may not come to your satisfaction so andha maadhiri edavadhu flow chart irukku diagrams irukku andha mari answers irundadna do practice writing those answers so objectives 2 marks 3 marks and 5 marks eppadi namba approach pannano eppadi namba textbook ah mattu focus pannama innu konja in depth ah poninga na you will be able to answer any question that is asked in the examination if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, watch it repeated times so that you don't miss on any of the tips that I have given you. Look into the link below and see if there is any invaluable information that you could take up. Give in the comments below what you felt about this video and finally if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and be benefited by the wonderful information that we share in this channel. Read with a lot of positivity and approach your exams with confidence. Thank you. Jai Sairam.